Smartmatic built a production facility for electronic voting equipment, hardware, just outside Beijing, China, and then shipped the hardware to a warehouse in Taiwan. In violation of U.S. law, the hardware was marked as manufactured in Taiwan and shipped to both Smartmatic and Dominion for use in U.S. elections. Dominion Voting Systems manages elections in almost all the swing states in the U.S., which determines who wins the presidency. We have evidence and witnesses that can prove the source code operating the election machines of both Smartmatic and Dominion and other election companies are owned by the Venezuelan narco regime. We have evidence and witnesses proving the machines are manufactured in the People's Republic of China. Every citizen needs to be asking, where is the DOJ, FBI, CISA, and where is the CIA? Is anyone in the national security apparatus defending our democracy or enforcing the law? And if that isn't enough to convince you there's a major problem, Dominion, an additional step to conceal its manipulation of U.S. elections, moved its research and development and servers, which store swing state voting information, to its office in Belgrade, Serbia. In the Belgrade office, Venezuelan, Chinese, and Serbian software engineers maintain system administrator status over swing state elections and alter elections as directed by the Cartel del Sol, the Cuban DGI, and the Chinese CCP. The facility and its personnel are protected by Serbia's counterintelligence service. Swing state voter information is saved on Huawei servers in Dominion's Belgrade office. These servers are linked to Huawei servers in Hong Kong, China. For years, the U.S. national security apparatus has identified Huawei and its technology as a threat to U.S. national security. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, a component of the United States Department of Homeland Security, is responsible for cybersecurity and infrastructure across all levels of government. CISA has 3,100 employees and a $2.9 billion budget. In 2020, when faced with calls to address election irregularities, CISA did a conference call with Smartmatic and Dominion in, <laughs> in order to better able to address the public's concerns and assure everyone that there had been no irregularities. Yes, it's shocking. CISA decided to consult the criminals in order to respond to the American public's outcry. In August 2024, three current and former executives of Smartmatic were indicted in Florida in, Florida in connection with bribery during the 2016 election in the Philippines. Among those arrested, Ex executives is Roger Pinate, one of the three founders and current president of Smartmatic. Roger Pinate paid $8.5 million in bail. What the public will soon learn is that the bribery paid in the case was not to obtain a contract. The bribery was paid to alter election results. We have the CNE source code, the source code employed by Smartmatic Dominion and others. We will surrender it to appropriate authorities. Source code, like DNA, can easily be matched with other systems to prove that they are from the same family. In this particular case, it is a family of altering elections. Two years ago, we briefed a senior FBI agent in Washington, D.C. That agent after seeing our three-hour presentation with corporate ownership documents, engineering specifications, and witness statements, told us to flee Washington, D.C., that the FBI would actively work to destroy our effort, efforts and seek ways to prosecute us in order to stop our investigative efforts. That was a stunning moment, hearing those words from a 20-year veteran of the FBI. Hello, my name is Gary Bernson. I'm a veteran of the United States Air Force and a retired senior operations officer and chief of station of the Central Intelligence Agency. For over three decades, I served in the U.S. national security apparatus in various capacities, 
Shortly after the attacks of 11 September 2001, I entered Afghanistan and commanded CIA paramilitary forces, helping seize the cities of Talakan and the capital of Afghanistan, Kabul. I was the driving force and architect of the Battle of Tora Bora. I held the position as chief of, of Hezbollah operation in CIA's counterterrorism center for several years and concluded my service in CIA as a chief of station in Latin America combating narco terrorists. Approximately six years ago, a business associate and I began working together as whistleblowers for the Department of Justice, FBI, DEA, and Homeland Security Investigations, HSI. Our target was the largest and most well-funded transnational criminal organization on the planet called the Cartel del Sol, Cartel of the Sun. The Cartel del Sol is the Venezuelan government and is led by Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, Gustavo Cabello, Minister of Defense Vladimir Lopez Padrino, President of the National Assembly Jorge Rodriguez, and former Director General of Count Military Counterintelligence Hugo Carbajal who was detained in Spain several years ago and extradited to New York, he is currently awaiting trial for narco-trafficking. Venezuelan President Maduro has a U.S. indictment and bounty of U.S. $15 million for his capture. Diosdado Cabello has U.S. indictment and a $10 million bounty on his head. At least six other Venezuelan cabinet members and senior officials are indicted in the last 20 years, the Cartel del Sol has stolen one trillion U.S. dollars from Venezuela's national oil company, PDVSA, and embezzled 500 billion U.S. dollars from its national treasury. It not only has, but continues to produce and smuggle 25 to 40 metric tons of cocaine every month out of its country into the world. The Cartel del Sol is a two trillion dollar transnational criminal organization and the most well-resourced criminal syndicate in history. Through bribery and investment of its funds, it controls a dozen countries and world leaders. It has massive investments in the U.S. and European financial markets and institutions. As we conducted investigations against the Cartel del Sol and presented them one after another to the U.S. Department of Justice, we noticed and pursued leads from the cartel's money laundering operations to the world of non-governmental organizations and election companies. After witnessing election irregularities associated with the 2020 U.S. presidential election, we decided to direct time and resources to Cartel del Sol links to U.S. and global election fraud. After an exhaustive three and a half year investigation, it is indisputable. Smartmatic election systems was created at the direction of now deceased Venezuelan dictator Hugo Chavez and its source code, the basis of its operating system, developed jointly by Venezuela's Consejo Nacional Electoral and Smartmatic was designed to allow election results to be altered without the knowledge of voters and the public. Additionally, the Venezuelan CNE holds ownership of Smartmatic's source code. Each time the Venezuelan CNE and Smartmatic update the source code, a copy of it is stored at the vault at the Venezuelan Central Bank. In 2005, a European Union electoral observation mission to Venezuela published a report stating the Venezuelan regime owns Smartmatic source code. The Venezuelan government signed that report as factual. Smartmatic's first election in Venezuela was the 2003 recall election of Hugo Chavez. The CNE director at the time, Jorge Rodriguez, at the direction of the Cuban Directorate General of Intelligence, DGI, hired three Venezuelan American computer engineers that were graduates of Simone Bolivar University, a Venezuelan university linked to the U.S. University, MIT. They had already registered a software company in Delaware and opened an office for it in Boca Raton. The engineers, Antonio Mujica, Roger Peñate, and Alfredo Anzola, established Smartmatic at the direction of the Venezuelan regime, built the source code, and flew off to Italy to buy lottery machines from Olivetti to serve as election hardware. 
They succeeded in altering enough votes to ensure Hugo Chavez's victory in the recall election. Secure in power, President Chavez decided to weaponize this capability beyond Venezuela's border. Smartmatic would enter into the U.S. election market in Cook County, Illinois, and the state of New Jersey for Democratic Party primary races in 2006. In 2005, Smartmatic orchestrated the purchase of Sequoia Voting Systems, Inc., a U.S. company. Sequoia was a company that had conducted elections in the U.S. for over 100 years and had a 22% market share of the U.S. electoral market. Approximately 18 months later, the Committee on Foreign Investments in the United States, CFIUS, began investigating the ownership of Smartmatic because of Smartmatic's Venezuelan connection. Smartmatic immediately put its source code in the, in the machines, in the Sequoia machines. Smartmatic tried to conceal its, invest, its Venezuelan connection by hiring a former U.S. Naval officer, Jack Blaine, to set up a holding company, SVS Holding, to place its ownership of Sequoia in stock. In December 2006, Smartmatic entered into an agreement with Cifius to sell Sequoia in six months. Antonio Mujica, one of the three original founders, then found a little-known election company in Toronto, Canada, Dominion Election Systems, that had only managed one small local election in Toronto. He arranged for Dominion to purchase Sequoia. Dominion, owned by John Polis, with that purchase of Sequoia, would inherit the licensing agreement for Smartmatic source code, the source code owned by the Venezuelan regime, i.e. the Cartel del Sol. To be clear, Smartmatic and Dominion would ultimately sign an agreement that provided Dominion with the U.S. market and Smartmatic the international global market. The only two exceptions are that Smartmatic does elections in Los Angeles County and Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico was, ult was an issue they ultimately settled in court. In Caracas, in a building owned by the CNE, the Consejo National Electoral, more than 100 software engineers, half from the CNE and half from Smartmatic, worked side by side. Their effort for more than a decade was to perfect the techniques of altering elections and defeating audit. In 2018, Smartmatic publicly, and with the approval of the Venezuelan regime, broke with the regime, the Cartel del Sol, because the Venezuelan CNE's theft of an election was so egregious. The techniques of the source code and machine operate and conceal a theft of an election when the spread of the candidates is, is between the three to up to the three to five percentage points. As sophisticated as the machine is, it can be defeated with significant turnout against it. The recent 2024 election in, in Venezuela was also so blatantly stolen, and the machine could not conceal that massive spread either. In its place, a company called Exclay took Smartmatic's place as the election provider in Venezuela. Allowing Smartmatic to exit Venezuela in this fictitious manner allowed the regime to retain its power and influence over the global electoral market. Smartmatic built a production facility for electronic voting equipment, hardware, just outside Beijing, China, and then shipped the hardware to a warehouse in Taiwan. In violation of U.S. law, the hardware was marked as manufactured in Taiwan and shipped to both Smartmatic and Dominion for use in U.S. elections. Dominion Voting Systems manages elections in almost all the swing states in the U.S., which determines who wins the presidency. We have evidence and witnesses that can prove the source code operating the election machines of both Smartmatic and Dominion and other election companies are owned by the Venezuelan narco regime. And we have evidence and witnesses proving the machines are manufactured in the People's Republic of China. Every citizen needs to be asking, where is the DOJ, FBI, CISA, and where is the CIA? Is anyone in the national security apparatus defending our democracy or enforcing the law? And if that isn't enough to convince you as a major problem, Dominion, an additional step to conceal its manipulation of U.S. elections, moved its research and development and servers, which store swing state voting information, to its office in Belgrade, Serbia. In the Belgrade office, 
Venezuelan, Chinese, and Serbian software engineers maintain system administrator status over swing state elections and alter elections as directed by the Cartel del Sol, the Cuban DGI, and the Chinese CCP. The facility and its personnel are protected by Serbia's counterintelligence service. Swing state voter information is saved on Huawei servers in Dominion's Belgrade office. These servers are linked to Huawei servers in Hong Kong, China. For years, the U.S. national security apparatus has identified Huawei and its technology as a threat to U.S. national security. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, a component of the United States Department of Homeland Security, is responsible for cybersecurity and infrastructure across all levels of government. CISA has 3,100 employees and a $2.9 billion budget. In 2020, when faced with calls to address election irregularities, CISA did a conference call with Smartmatic and Dominion in, <laughs> in order to better able to address the public's concerns and assure everyone that there had been no irregularities. Yes, it's shocking. CISA decided to consult the criminals in order to respond bond to the American public's outcry. In August 2024, three current and former executives of Smartmatic were indicted in Florida, in Florida in connection with bribery during the 2016 election in the Philippines. Among those arrested ex executives is Roger Pinate, one of the three founders and current president of Smartmatic. Roger Pinate paid $8.5 million in bail. What the public will soon learn is that the bribery paid in the case was not to obtain a contract. The bribery was paid to alter election results. We have the CNE source code, the source code employed by Smartmatic, Dominion, and others. We will surrender it to appropriate authorities. Source code like DNA, can easily be matched with other systems to prove that they are from the same family. In this particular case, it is a family of altering elections. Two years ago, we briefed a senior FBI agent in Washington, D.C. That agent, after seeing our three-hour presentation with corporate ownership documents, engineering specifications, and witness statements, told us to flee Washington, D.C., that the FBI would actively work to destroy our effort, efforts and seek ways to prosecute us in order to stop our investigative efforts. That was a stunning moment, hearing those words from a 20-year veteran of the FBI. Seven months ago, with our attorney, we briefed a U.S. attorney and two assistant U.S. attorneys, federal prosecutors, from the Department of Justice. The U.S. Attorney told us he would forward the information to the Office of Public Integrity at the Department of Justice. That U.S. Attorney followed up with us months later to see if the Office of Public Integrity had contacted us. They never did. Smartmatic, Dominion, and their media allies will immediately point to the fact that Fox News settled with Dominion, paying U.S. $787.5 million, and that New Newsmax just settled with Smartmatic this past week in a defamation, defamation case as evidence of Smartmatic and Dominion innocence. In Fox News against Dominion, we briefed Fox News trial attorneys. Our lawyers were present when we did that. Fox News corporate officers refused to be briefed directly for that case. They wanted plausible deniability. Fox News corporate knew we had significant evidence and more importantly, witnesses. When all the facts are known, Fox News executives and board will have to explain why they went down on their knees for enemies of the U.S. We briefed Newsmax's corporate attorney as well. Though their settlement with Smartmatic is not public, any settlement with either company and their masters, the Cartel del Sol, the Cuban DGI, the CISA and CCP, makes it more difficult for those of us trying to defend. 
the country and our democracy. I ask everyone to go to the website, StolenElectionsFacts.com. That's StolenElectionsFacts.com. Here you will find articles and original source documents supporting the claim that Smartmatic and Dominion are employing a source code created and owned by the Venezuelan regime with hardware manufactured in China that alters election results. I will follow with other videos and statements to inform and educate others. Best-selling author Ralph Pizzula has written the book Stolen Elections, The Plot to Destroy Democracy. It will be released in late October. Mr. Pizzullo interviewed my whistleblower associate and I and several of our key witnesses. This is a must read to understand one of the greatest crimes ever committed against the United States. This is an assault on our democracy. Again, go to the website, StolenElectionsFacts.com. Look at the timeline, the documents and the original sources that are attached. Thank you for your time. God bless America. We go forward.